Hi, I'm Ian from KarateMart.com. And I'm Corbin from Karate Mart. What are we talking about today, Corbin? Grappling hooks. We got one right here. It's a ninja grappling hook, uh, and it's a beast. This thing weighs, I'm going to go just over a pound. What do you think? I think you're better at this sort of thing than I am. I've done a fair amount of shipping. I've seen a few scales in my day. I can tell from just looking at it that it's 10 inches long and it's got these three and a half inch prongs. How do you know right? what 10 inches looks like? I know that because I'm an American and I know how inches work. This is, what is this, steel? It's made out of steel, uh, it's steel, and it comes with this 33 foot nylon rope. 33 feet. It's 33 feet. How do you know what 33 feet looks like? Uh, we use a tape measure. A lot of people are familiar with grappling hooks because they see like the, the prototypical, you swing it around and then you throw it on and it catches on to a gutter because you're an oh, urban ninja. And you, and you pull yourself up and you climb and then... That's how you complete your mission. There are other uses for grappling hooks, I'll have you know. Either. There are a lot of uses for a grappling hook. Uh, kind of like there's a lot of uses for ropes and hooks. Well, when you put it that way, yeah, I guess it makes a lot of sense. This is a versatile, this is a versatile item. Not, a, yeah. not even a weapon, just a versatile item. You could use that as a weapon, could you? you could. Oh, yeah. Like, instead of throwing it at the top of a, of a boulder on a mountain, you could... This seems dangerous. That does seem dangerous. You could throw it at somebody else, somebody you don't like. Yeah. I would recommend practicing before you actually go on a ninja mission. These, these are pretty sharp. You should be able to collapse it so that you're not carrying this kind of otherwise awkward thing on like your waist. Are you having trouble there? Well, no, I had to loosen it up a little bit. Yeah, that's the story of your life, isn't it? No, you're terrible at life too. In addition to a weapon, you could also, you could drop it in the water and, and, and dredge for things in the water, like things you've dropped. What kind of things, Corbin? Bodies. You could drop a body in a body of water. <laughs> or keys. So these collapse kind of this way, and then they open up, and then seat together and spring into place this way to form that little grappling X. You could throw it, and then use it to set off uh, booby traps. Wait, what do you mean? Like the tripwire alarms, or anti-personnel mines. But why would you use the... Why would you use a grappling hook for that? Well, because it will catch the little lines and the wires and all the sneaky bits. Why would you want to set it off? Would so you... that you don't set it off with your leg. Okay, well, when you say it all sarcastic like that, that makes sense. Okay. The Japanese term for these is kaginawa. 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 Let's say it together. Kaginawa. kaginawa. And that means, kagi means hook and nawa means rope. Here's the thing. We've got the grappling hook. Mm -hmm. You know, we've seen them on TV. We've seen them in movies. People use them all kinds of ways. But this is a real grappling hook right here in real life. We need to test this thing out and see well, what you can do with it in real life. Do you remember that time when your wimpy electric vehicle ran out of juice and I had to come save you? My electric vehicle is amazing. Did you can tow a car with that? Perfect. We can hook it up right here. And right. we just happen to have a camera crew to document the experience. We towed it all the way to the dumpster where we left his car. So that was an experience. That was an experience, but I'm glad you were there to help mm -hmm, mm -hmm. with your fossil fuel powered earth killing machine. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I have no regrets other than helping you when I could have just stayed home. From this experience, we learned that the, the grappling hook and the rope is strong enough to pull a car. So we know that it's, it's uh, strong enough to hold a person up. It is strong enough to hold a person up. I am confident of that. Even Ian. Cut that part out. Let's go out of the warehouse and see who can climb up a shelf faster. Okay, there's a new pallet rack in the warehouse that we can okay. use. That's, I'm there. You're Let's there? Go. Let's do it. I'll race you there. No, we're fools today. That's right. We're gonna do a competition. Whoever gets there first to the top 
wins. What's the prize, Ian? Uh, the prize is bragging rights, and the rules, just so we're clear and on video, is that you can use your feet on the shelf, hands only on the rope. First one to touch the top bar wins. And, then, and the other thing is, neither one of us can practice this. And I have a fear of heights. Crippling fear of heights, no practice. Let's see how this goes. On your mark, get set, go. Surprisingly. How dare you? I'm working on it. I won the first one. I won the second one. And then I won the so third one. So Ian won two out of three, but that's mostly because he's got a better throwing arm. Than You're me. pretty fit. You scampered right up to the top of that tower. Terrible, terrible hand eye coordination. If we were going to use these to complete actual missions, we would want to do some training ahead of time. Oh, yes. That's a good idea. Because one of the things that we did here, just to make it more fun, was to not practice. The only practice I got was the previous rounds. Everybody thinks that I didn't want to do the third shot, and I just did a fake out. I That's exactly what he did. I legitimately did poorly. He's clever like a fox. And what can we say about that experience? So what does the fox say? The fox says that you should get a grappling hook and uh, practice before you use the grappling hook. Definitely practice. And uh, Do it outside mm -hmm. or in a warehouse. No, 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 no. Do it outside. Do it outside. I mean, but here's the thing. You gotta do it outside, but not just outside. After watching Corbin do that, I realized, no, there could be nothing in any direction. You didn't know which way it was gonna fly. Windows, people, equipment, drywall, everything was at risk when Corbin was getting ready to throw. See, the reason that people say don't do this inside is because usually houses and domiciles are small enough that there are valuables within throwing reach. Yes. If you were in, in an empty warehouse, nothing valuable nearby, two stories up, yeah, you could do it there. But you definitely wouldn't want to start swinging this willy-nilly next to Dad's new... Weightlifting machines. Sports car. Baseball collection. Dad's new Tahoe. He wouldn't be happy about the dents and scratches you'd be likely to put in it. Nope. We, uh, we threw this hook around. It was satisfying. It was fun. I could think of worse ways to spend a Friday in the office. Ian won two out of three. You got a better throwing arm. Which I know in my heart that I won, but uh, the published video will reveal otherwise. Are so. you implying that I selectively edited that video to make myself look good? I am outright making the accusation. You are such a sore winner, Ian. When you put it like that, I am filled with shame. Thanks for watching our video. We had a lot of fun making it. We did have a ton of fun. Share it with your friends. Start following us on Facebook and YouTube and Instagram. Get yourself a grappling hook. Throw this thing around. Tons of fun. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Perfect.